Dick Bag Patrol, in color. Well, it finally happened. Jilly's backside caught up with his mouth in what had to be one of the all-time greatest cell phones. Jose Maria Chili de Castro, future governor of Nevada, made himself a guest of the Clark County Clink. Before we get started, someone in one of my community posts suggested we dedicate our celebratory live stream the other day to the late, great Schrodinger's cat, to which I heartily agreed and then utterly failed to do. I know, dickbag move. Sorry about that. So let's remember him right now. I'm quite certain he would get a kick out of all this. Hell, I know I'd be lying if I didn't say it gave me a great deal of joy to watch it happen. In fact, it's made me so happy, I'm going to do something I very rarely do. <coughs> Alright, that's enough of that. Even though this has been thoroughly covered, I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't give my take on it. I mean, I've been covering the little pissants, nauseating behavior for over a year now, so might as well, right? Besides, it really never gets old watching him torch himself. By the way, thanks to our Nevada judges for providing this excellent service and documenting these court proceedings for all of us to laugh at. Be sure to subscribe to them. First of all, again, he looks like shit. He looked bad the day before at his arraignment, and I even remarked on it in my last video, but it's even worse today. He looks like he slept in that suit. Does have a little bit of the Chris Farley in a little coat vibe. And the resemblance to the back of his neck and a pack of hot dogs has not gone unnoticed. I don't even know where to begin with the hair. What do you say to the barber? Give me the beaker, please. I'd like to look like a crazed Muppet. Can you turn off the phone, please? The one yeah, that's in I'm your just, hand. Just finish my lawyer. He's on his way here now. I'm just waiting for him to get so thanks to Rico, our inside source in the courtroom who kindly joined us on our live stream the other day, we know Chili was on the phone to his lawyer Michael Mee. Not because Michael was late, but because he was calling to find out where the hell Chili was. See, they were supposed to meet an hour prior at Michael's office, presumably to go over strategy for the case. Where was Chili? Sitting in the courtroom that whole time, putting his feet on the table, and having petty arguments with the bailiff and sergeant about it, when he should have been strategizing with his counsel. Now, let's go back a day to Chili's arraignment for the new arrest for the exact same charges. And are you planning on hiring an attorney to represent yourself? I will have a standby attorney for this case. You will have a standby yes. attorney? Okay. Because um, I think that I'm going to win this easy it's on film, and I wasn't obstructing okay. anybody. All right. Two important things here. He says he wants to apply for standby counsel, which means he wants to represent himself, essentially, but also have his lawyer there to bail him out just in case. Secondly, he is quite adamant he will easily walk away from the charges. These two things will be important shortly. And finally, as a general note, Chile really agitated Judge Leung at this hearing until she finally had to admonish him that anything he says could be used against him down the line. I predicted Will, as he has shown he can't control himself in front of two prominent Nevada judges. Okay. I'm gonna sue everybody involved. I'm gonna sue the cops. So I'm gonna sue Castro, the county. I appreciate you have an opinion. Today's just the arraignment. I got you, I got you. Saying you're, you're all just, these things, we're just, here for your kidding. misdemeanor case, sure. okay? Sure, but there's a, bigger, there's a bigger issue. There's transparency in the courtroom which is the best thing that could possibly happen. That's now the people get to hear that I'm gonna sue Jeffrey and I'm gonna sue Matthew and I'm gonna sue every one of So here's what we're cops. not gonna do, Mr. DeCastro. This is not going to be a personal pulpit for your you know, philosophical difference or belief. You have the media here and that's fine. It's great. an open court. But I don't want you to start saying things too far extraneous um, for purposes of this misdemeanor charge, because well, that's what, no, nope, do not interrupt me, because that, because that's what we're here for, okay, so here's the thing, I'm recording everything, and you need to be aware that there, that's a two-sided thing, you're representing yourself, so I'm having this conversation with you, the, all these statements that you're saying can also potentially be used against you, because you're getting recorded, so just so you understand, so well, here's what we're going to do. I'm does assuming the, you're entering a not guilty plea. Does correct? the misdemeanor carry jail time? Possibly, yes. It's possible jail time. So it's so you said a second ago that this is a misdemeanor case as though it's something minor, but I can be put in a dungeon and walked away. Okay. In no way so that's true. did I imply that this was minor okay. by, yeah, by saying deal. that it's a misdemeanor. It's a big deal. Okay. Okay, Mr. thanks. Castro, let's just say 
let's not get off on the wrong foot. <laughs> kind of seems like it might be a little late for that. You wanted to be famous, dummy. Well, guess what? And no, it's not prejudicial for a judge to know just what a douche someone is, particularly not when it's proven to their face. Bye, said douche. Okay, back to his trial. So I had signed two media requests that permit recording or photographing these proceedings, but I have not granted any other requests to record or live stream these proceedings. So I need Mr. DeCastro and everybody else who wants to stay in the courtroom to surrender their phones, or you can leave. Are your phones helping or not? Take one from you. I need Mr. DeCastro to empty all of his pockets. What's that? Yeah, empty your pockets, pockets and give up your phones to the judge. Okay. I have to give you my phones? Yeah. My phones have to be completely off? Yeah. I don't really want to be part of your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. so you already are. Great. You already are. Awesome. No. I'm not going to get into this guy, though. I'll give him some else. No, no. They're going to go to my marshal. He's a pig. Excuse me? I said he's a pig. Okay. So I'm not going to permit you to speak to anybody in my courtroom in that manner. And if you don't want to apologize, I'm going to hold you in contempt. I apologize to the court, Your Honor. No, you can apologize to... They've done nothing to you. Actually, Your Honor, when you were here, you came over and gave me a directive for no reason to start telling me what to do. Actually, Your Honor, when you were here, you came over and gave me a directive for no reason to start telling me what to do. What a crybaby. And it was for a good reason, Chili. Didn't you learn any manners? Any respect growing up? Putting your feet on the furniture in a courthouse? You call these cops pigs, but you behave like a swine, Chili. You are a real pig. Okay, well, I, I have all the respect you want for the court. I follow the rule of law all the time. I no, it is, it is their, their job to maintain the safety and security of the court. I agree with you, Your Honor. Oh, clearly. If you want to speak like that in my courtroom, I'm going to hold you in contempt. And if I hold you in contempt, you're going to jail. That is not my wish. Okay? I wish you All right. So I need to, you to empty your pockets, too. Suit pocket, pants pocket. This is this is illegal. This is, this is a violation of my Fourth Amendment. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I don't have any recording devices on me. What are you talking about? How much? Suit jacket. <laughs> I don't have anything on me. This is preposterous. No, it's this not. really is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Mr. Mean, your phone, too. Oh. They're recording everything. <laughs> they have they have a media request. Right, and I'm I'm not recording anything. Did that your your guy here took my phone, so he's on his phone's not on. Right. And we start with a bang. Now, how bad do you think Michael Mee is regretting his decision to take him on as a client right now? Chili has to try and show everyone who's boss and lay the groundwork for his real agenda here. Which is, of course, to pretend to be the smartest, toughest guy in the room for the cameras. The judge is gonna let him know otherwise. I also gotta say that I love that it's two strong female judges that Chili has drawn so far. That's gotta eat at him. The misogynistic little creep. I have your request to convert counsel to standby counsel. I'm going to deny that request. Um, either you represent him or he should have previously requested a forensic canvas to represent himself. That I just consider that a delay tactic, so that request is denied. Okay, so at his arraignment, we discovered Chili is really counting on being able to use this standby lawyer approach. Neither he nor me, it seems, were counting on it being shot down here. This, to me, explains why Michael Mee, by all accounts an experienced trial lawyer, seemed at times to be barefacing his way through the proceedings. There was no game plan. And of course, Chili missed the pre-trial chance to strategize. Mee tried his best to press the First Amendment argument, but the prosecutor wisely kept the focus on the officer safety argument, which was a smart play in my estimation. We won't go through Officer Bork's testimony in the interest of time, but suffice it to say that the body cam footage and Bork's testimony were enough to prove Chili's guilt in the end. Now, if Chili had been granted the right to stand by counsel, he would have been the one cross-examining Bork, and then we would have had ourselves an even bigger circus. Can you even imagine that? So the only other witness was Chili himself. Now, I'm assuming that they had originally planned for this to happen, even if standby counsel had been granted. Chili wouldn't be able to cross-examine himself on the stand. Although, given the chance, he probably would. Of course, Chili also couldn't resist turning the whole thing into a commercial for himself. I started filming cops because 
when I was cheated in 2002. Objection and at this point. Uh, Relevance. Well, this is the British Reader Member of the Press. This narrative. I don't think speaking in tongues is going to help you, buddy. Was that a synaptic misfire, or is Chili going for an insanity defense? Can you ask him a question? Yes, Your Honor. What type of films do you make for your YouTube channel? I only film police in their official capacity. I'm known across the country and across the world. So is herpes. Big deal. And why uh, do you engage in that type of filming? So I'm going to ask you, Mr. Me to direct your questions about the incident in question. The reason I was filming this report that day? Objection, Your Honor. Oh, oh I'm sorry. So there wasn't a question posed. So oh, I not sure what he was Mr. DeCastro, um, on the dating question, why did you approach that vehicle? I was filming that cop because that's what I do for a living. I am a member of the press and I invoked my right to be press. I always invoke my right to be press within the first 10 seconds of engaging with police. And I have thousands of videos that prove this. So this is how you make money. This is not how specifically I make money. Boo. Hold the phone. Objection. Chili had a phone call from jail one day ago with Brian from Here's the Deal, which I assume is short for Here's the Deal. I don't know shit. On that call, which was primarily begging his followers for money, Chili admitted that his business is predicated on him going live every day to sell his trifolds. Not to mention he gets super chats, and he plays his own audit videos on those streams as well. Not to mention every video on his channel that can possibly be monetized is monetized. Sounds like you're making money off of your videos to me, Chili. It also sounds like perjury. I make money from selling legal documents to people. Okay, And uh, objection, legal documents, the 5A card and the trifold. Yeah, right. Did you at any point, um, attempt to hit any of the officers involved? No, absolutely not. Did you uh, intentionally swat any of the officers? Absolutely not. He was giving me unlawful commands. I should not have been detained after I identified as a member of the press. If he ever reached a hand out towards me, I wrestle and teach MMA and I have for 30 years. So it's just a natural reaction as I'm retreating from somebody if I may have put my hand up, as he said, as he testified himself, I certainly am a law-abiding citizen. I don't break the law. So I would not have tried to assault an officer under any circumstances. All right, Mr. DeCastro, please stand. The problem with the argument that your attorney makes is it completely fails to consider the safety of the officer and the safety of the driver. The officer doesn't know who you are, and the driver doesn't know who you are. And you don't have any right to interfere with that officer doing his investigation and deciding if he wants to issue a ticket to this driver. And you are also don't have any business approaching the driver. The driver didn't ask you for help. The driver didn't say, help, help, you know. You didn't see an altercation happening between the officer and this driver, um, the officer didn't protest that you were filming. There's no problem with filming. You can film. It's fine. All right? But you did interfere with his investigation. You did interfere with his ability to do his job. You did put him in a position where he is concerned for his safety and the safety of the driver. So I believe the state's met their burden beyond reasonable doubt. I'm going to find you guilty of obstructing a public officer and resisting a public officer. So Chili has been found guilty of both charges. What strategy-wise would be the smart next play here? Um, I don't think there was any intent from the defendant to engage in any wrongdoing in this case, Your Honor. Um, uh huh. And that being the case, especially because of the public policy interests at, at issue. So when you say he doesn't wish to engage in any wrongdoing, it seems to me from observing him in the video that he wants he wants this. He wants to get arrested. He wants to get into an altercation with the police officers. He welcomes this. This helps his YouTube channel. He called the officers here in my courtroom to take pigs. He called the, and he's not his head up and down. So apparently he hates every law enforcement officer in the United States. All right. 
Please stand up, sir. Are you finished with your request for credit for time, sir? Um, I, I would just emphasize, Your Honor, that. Boy, you can hear the gears turning. Michael knows what's coming, and he's just looking for any way to lessen the blow. He's in a tough spot. The defendant testified, and he sincerely believes that he is providing a public service. Yeah, well, I believe I'm providing a public service by putting on a Batman costume and patrolling the roof of my apartment building at night. That doesn't make me Batman. Um, when he reviews and films these incidents. Um, I understand the court may have a different view of that, but... You think so? When we're talking about First Amendment public policy issues such as um, supervising people involved in government, I, I think that is something the court can take into consideration, not to have a show effect on that. I'll spit on your arm. Thank you. Mr. DeCastro, please stand. I hereby sentence you to 90 days in the Clark County Detention Center on count one, 90 days in the Clark County Detention Center on count two, to run consecutive for a total of 180 days in custody. Thank you. All you people doubting if Chili did this to himself, there's your proof. Now here's the part which earns the Honorable Ann Zimmerman an instant spot on the Dick Bag Patrol Wall of Fame. Sentence suspended or? Oh no, I'm going to start right now. If a guilty party shows no remorse for their crime and in fact flagrantly shows the opposite in front of the judge, that will absolutely influence the sentence. Chili, for once, faced a punishment commensurate with his actions. And again, make no mistake, he brought this all on himself. Now what's really great about this last part, aside from Chili being so clearly gut-punched that he can only manage a meager... This is time to do justice. ...is that this bailiff is the court officer Chili has been antagonizing since the very start. That's right, the one he agitated by putting his feet on the furniture and referred to as a pig is the one who gets to lead him out in shiny, shiny torture cuffs. And finally, we come to the part I've been really looking forward to, which is to add this music to his final walk of shame. The funniest part of this whole thing is that they offered a plea deal of a small fine and counseling and Chili refused. Remember what he said at his arraignment. Because I think that I'm going to win this easy on film and I wasn't obstructing okay. anybody. Right. As Chili was clearly planning to walk away from this, he had no contingency plan for his channel being unmanned by him for six months. So what happens now? Looks like I'm stuck making videos of this fool for a little while longer anyway. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. One thing's for sure, Chili can't be having much fun. Suffice to say, Clark County is no joke. If you want a taste of his environment, just check out this video from the A&E show, 60 Days In, which is an undercover look into America's roughest correctional facilities. I can't play it here for copyright reasons, but you should definitely check it out, link in description. Oh, before I forget, uh, some of you are asking how AI Chili is taking the news. Remember a couple of videos ago, I said he seemed like he was getting testy lately, and I wanted to do something nice for the little guy? Well, as a thank you for all his hard work, I sent him on a virtual vacation. Here's a photo of himself he sent, along with a message for the real Chili. Dear Chili, old boy buddy, I heard the news. Six months. That's pretty rough. I hope you take your vacation time, so to speak to reflect on what led you here and perhaps finally take some responsibility for your actions. Please, see if you can request mental health services while you're in there. I really think it could help you become a better person. Anyways, good luck, pal. And whatever you do, take care of your butthole. I said what what in the butt. I said what what in the butt. I said what what in the butt. You want to do it in my butt?